Good afternoon. Welcome to your favorite weekly current affairs program. It is 60 Minutes Nigeria. My name is Egosa Agbalao. I must tell you that on today's show, we will be looking at very, very crucial national issues, the exciting national issues uh, to get you informed with the very latest happenings in the country. I have with me a very distinguished gentleman. I have a very legal, uh, legal practitioner with us. And of course, a distinguished legal practitioner, chartered arbitrator, and a notary public. And only recently, now the state chairman of Nigerian Society of International Law. Talking about Barrister Patrick, is here, Kwene. Nice to have you with us today. Yes. I, also I, have, have you I also have with us a very distinguished uh, uh, politician, uh, a man who contested in the last governorship election in the state, uh, Bishop. Akalame. Nice to have you with us. Good afternoon, Tashina. Good afternoon, viewers. So, we'll be looking at uh, two issues. Uh, the first uh, is common knowledge. Now, it is in the public space that they proscribe uh, IPOM. Uh, recently, uh, assaulted a former deputy senate president, and that was not enough. We, we got reports, media reports, of threat to Southeast governors. And that was not enough. We also got reports of uh, a planned uh, assault on Mr. President if he visits Japan. But we are glad to inform you that Mr. President is in Japan, President Mondubari is in Japan, and nothing like that happened. He's safe. Nobody assaulted him. But what is the import of this recent development, the recent scenario? Politicians are now being threatened by IPOP that they will be assaulted once they leave the shores of this country. Don't forget that uh, politicians have reasons to travel abroad. It could be for conferences, it could be personal reasons, it could be for medical. And now, with this kind of development, and uh, for a former Senate uh, Deputy President to be assaulted, uh, I think um, it calls for real uh, reason for us to really dissect the issue. And of course, uh, look at all the uh, scenario to this very, very uh, hard, uh, disturbing uh, development. Well, let's start with Bishop Akalami, he's a politician. Uh, now, politicians have been threatened if they travel abroad. Uh, this is disturbing. But what's your take on this? <coughs> Thank you very much. Um, if you look at the issue that have played out uh, with the IPOP and the uh, uh, Senator Ikuri Madu, yes. before we can uh, dive into that issue, there's need for us to establish the fundamentals. Uh, How do you mean? Yes. If you look at it very well, it's yes. quite that. Even the, even, the, even the state governors, the five, five governors, states, yes, yes, they are even afraid to travel now. So what are the problems? The, 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 the fundamental issues that are here is Unandu Karu was a member of Masop. He, he moved away from that group and formed his own group, which is called Apple. That have been prescribed. Yeah, the federal been prescribed. Government. Because he wanted to become the maximum what ruler of an independent state called Bradford. Then he had jacked the radio station owned by Ralph Mazuriki, which is also the head of Masop. Why? Because they believe that there's need for Bradford. And I can tell you that the the Iraq affairs of the Indigo, they believe that. Once you are an Igbo, you are an Igbo man, you have no business with Nigeria. They have it mindset that Nigeria belongs to only the Yorubas and the Hausas. And that's not correct. No, that is what they, that's what they feel. They feel that once you are an Igbo, you are not in Nigeria. That the issue is that it's a forced marriage. What they are not interested in. Let me interject, uh, Bishop yes. Akalame, while you continue with mm. your uh, analysis. Now, we have. We, you can't generalize. Uh, maybe some Igbos who belong to a particular group may have their own perceptions, but not the generality of the Igbos. Because we have Igbos who believe in the unity of this country. We have Igbos who project the development of this country. You, so are, very, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are very you are very correct. Okay. That's why I told you, I said, the rap affairs, let me tell you something. There are people, there are some of the Igbos who are extremists who believe this. They are so much, they believe in Brafa. They so much believe in it. Now, the, the, the issue now is this. The, the Unanukano now got the sympathy 
of the average Igbo man that even the youth they not kill behind him. Why? Who did that? The president of this country, President Muhammadu Buhari, made it so. The, 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 the arrest, the detention of that young man has made the man NC party of his people. That whatever he's doing now, they are now with me, well, they're now with him, supporting him in whatever he does. Now let me now tell you something very crucial in this issue. Is that I like what you said, there are people, there are some people in the East who believe in war Nigeria. But let me tell you something that there's another thing they preach which is not in which is not in agreement with what the Unan the Kanu and his group believe in. That's why you see that this fight everywhere. Now, like the, the deputy president, Ikwe Madu, yeah, the former deputy is president. a vocal politician from the South from this from the southeast uh, extraction. Okay. This is a man who believed that the only way we can have a good Nigeria is for true federalism. He pushed about social justice for the Igbo. He pushed about devolution of power. He pushed about true or true federalism that every state should be what independent. That when we do that, every average Igbo will be what will be will be very happy. But you see that the owner of the Kano is not in agreement with this understanding of these politicians who are going to come from the east. But what he what he believes is. Rado Razi, he wanted what to be a ruler, what to be a ruler of what of that independent state of what of Bafa. So now he had the squad that these people they are not in agreement with what I'm saying. So he see them as saboteurs. The them the governors who preach this, who are not who are not in agreement with what he preached, he see them as saboteurs to the realization of what Bafa what state. So they now feel that since they don't want to agree with my terms, anytime we see them, there's no for us to what to fight them. No, sir, I want to tell you now that there is nothing that the Federal Republic of Nigeria will do about it. There is nothing everyone would, anyone will do about it that will change the mind of this young man, Unan Yukano, to desist for what he's doing. Because he feel that if, if the Igbo people do not belong to Nigeria, they are not just here, they need, they need their own country. So that is why you see that you have to be fighting those people you are fighting. But the, problem, the, the mistake we made, the mistake we made was to have given that young man so much attention that have given him such popularity that have made him to get that sympathy from his people. Okay. Otherwise, there are things we just do, they will ignore you. When you still ignore you, that this young man is not, uh, they are not even watching that. You see, he would have disease for what he have. Okay, thank you. We'll come back to you. Uh, but Mr. Patrick, you said, Quine, what's your take on this? Because right now, uh, Oji Kalo, a former Abia State governor, was supposed to travel abroad, but he didn't travel, and there was insinuation that he was scared because of uh, a possible attack abroad. But he came out to refute that, that uh, that was not the reason why he didn't travel. Now, threat to Saudi's governors. Now, we also heard the insinuation that even Mr. President will be assaulted, but we are glad, like I said, that did not happen. Uh, Mr. President is uh, doing well in Japan, in the interest of the country. Uh, uh, well, uh I, I'm not surprised. Uh, you know, I do all the international here. When I spoke, uh, I was again the show of prosecution of uh, Apple. I spoke here about the negative uh, effect. This is what we're seeing today. Because the issue is that, uh, the truth of the matter is that, can the have gotten the support it has today in order to prescription? Now, the invitation for the bear for IPOP, you know, too well. Yeah. This is right from 90, after, after the Civil War, okay. 1967. Because of the, the policy behind the civil war, he will not learn a lesson. Yeah. That the cry for uh, such secession started then. Not now. It's a, it's a state news. You know, it doesn't start today. You know? And, you know, so the issue is that it was the proscription that gave it that led to what is happening, uh, happening now. Now, uh, with the action now, I don't to see proscription for that. That's why it's no. That's why I said, if you want the terrorist group, always a terrorist, what the terrorist group, uh, the card and the rest. If it's popular, you they believe it. I said these boys are going to do more because they don't allow other other body. Because the other groups who are around this country, for example, the S men, nothing has been done to them. We have never heard IPOP raping, killing. They have never they, they done that. But similarly, the job of the S men have gone notorious. But they will not, they will not, they will not prescribe, prescribe. They remain in the they left side of them. I went, the one and mama they, they prescribe uh, IPOP, come for concern. That's why you see the uh, the boys, this boy said that some of the persons they are attacking today 
are people who, uh, who did not play good role to make sure they stop federal government. Quite many of the five uh, were uh, uh, deputy uh, president. They want to the eastern governors, or they want selfish uh, for, for them to come back to go uh, to office. They not protect, they not fight them to stop it. So this boy now trying to play the role of, of, of a bad boy. To send man, they not to say that to send it to the, to the to the president. It's a global embarrassment. I found for sign. And you know to uh, if you understand, you see, if you don't want a child to cry, don't be the child. You 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 probably have been beaten. Don't you cry? Then you do the normal. The, that's what they are doing today, which is not, which is wrong. So the only what plan they are just uh, employing now to go about it. For me, it's a wrong one. But then he that must come to court of equity must come with clean hands. Okay. No, I'm not finished. I'm yes. finished. I'm not digressing. Come okay. with clean hands. Now, these people they are coming from say okay, they need to go. My brother, under under international law, they have a right to self succession. They have a right for self determination. International law. They are not the only conform with the law. That was not promote. You have been saying right. Anybody that stop any group, any race from assigning such a right, say of certain nation, is is uh, that what we call uh, is is born to uh, uh, international humanity, international humanity, and uh, universal morality. That what it takes. It's contrary to uh, anybody that says that. It is right for them to tell them where they want to be, where they want to belong, because you know the world is not is not constant. We can be. We are formerly 19 states. Now we are not 26 states. Are you not aware? It can become 50 tomorrow. Google moves from you know different ethnic group are agitating. You don't stop there. So what they ought to have done is that. But what I'm going to say that they will have done it clearly. They are not called with prosecution, but not putting on their hand. All you need to do, they, they can also have it. You need to all you need to do to have a grand uh, plebiscite. Plebiscite is a kind of oh, reach out to a kind of uh, a mock uh, trial for those who want it. The Eastern states. Let us if 1970 they said oh, being conducted, so we want it. They don't go on referendum. If I don't know what now, there's not going to put you for the house. And then the day is clear, they want to go. They cannot force me to leave you to okay. They cannot force a forced marriage. Yeah. So that is what it is. So I know that Abba will do on the day like now terrorist group. Can you stop can you stop uh, like can you stop Boko Haram now from Davok or Akeda? Yeah, no, I tell you, so I'm about to not to that and the performer one that I want to be. Patrick will come back to you, but we so must make, very much. we must make the issue a very explicit. Uh, that the federal government already has prescribed IPOP, it's a prescribed group, and it's not all Igbo people that believe in the ideology of Unam de Kanu, the leader of the prescribed IPOP. But more views on the show. Uh, we'll be having a professor of law join us to dissect these issues, and that will be after this break. Okay, nice to have you back and glad to know that you are there enjoying your time with us. Uh, just joining us is uh, a legal luminary and, of course, a professor of law, Professor Joe John, Nice to have you. Good afternoon. Okay, so we'll just get your uh, take on the topic, threats by prescribed IPO to assault politicians, Southeast governors abroad. Uh, what's your take on this uh, very recent development? We've not had this before. We are Nigerian politicians are be interested now <laughs> that they'll be assaulted once they travel out of the country. Well, thank you, uh, and uh, good afternoon, viewers. Well, uh, threat by uh, a proscribed body or group. I don't even know if it's verified. Uh, I don't know. You are the journalist. I thought it was just a rumor in the mails, rumor in the social media. Yeah, but they assaulted the former deputy yeah, yeah, senator. That's about rough. That's about rough. I think it was I, after that. Yes, yes, mm. yes. What well, I'm saying is that I thought the one on the, the senate, uh, senator Kremlin was spontaneous. Maybe something that happened spontaneously. I don't think it was planned. Now, if it was aftermath, then I had threats. I said in social media, I didn't want to believe it. Whether it's, 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 it's true, if it's of a truism that there's the a planned uh, attack. A proposed attack on uh, senators or government officials by a group. And it's, it's unfortunate because first it confounds the whole uh, toga around the, the, the ter terrorist uh, body. Because if you display such antics outside the shores of the country in the civilized uh, setting, in the manner they did to Senator Kuremando, yeah. if it's normal protest which they are allowed to do, they have the uh, fundamental right to do that. And of course, in those climes, they cherish basic freedom of, uh, of citizens. To express yourself and all that. But if what they did to the mother I saw online, my handling the senator or that, that was the plan. That is the threat they have, then it's what they typify their their, their their embodiment of terror and, uh, and, and, and evil as it were. Because there are so many other ways you can uh, protest or make your point without becoming uh, uncivil, unruly and of course uh, dastardly. Uh, what that video is quite unfortunate. 
Again, if you have any grievance, the Nigerian Commission in various uh, countries are there. And so they are entitled to go there, stage a protest, sit down uh, protest. There are those who strike, they go on hunger strike. In Nigeria here, yeah, our strike is all about being on the streets, to be seen, to be heard, grandstanding. People go on hunger strike. How many Nigerians are going on hunger strike for their cause? The man who is leading them, how often has he gone on hunger strike himself? So I think we should go beyond, uh, we move beyond uh, some uh, basic pretenses you know, in, in this culture we have in this country. We have a cause to make sacrifice and uh, to, to instigate violence, instigate uh, an, uh, anarchy in the name of uh, proving your point. I don't subscribe to that. There's many ways you can make your point. So it's deplorable, it's condemnable. And I expect the Nigerian mission in these countries to do the needful. And of course, our country, the host countries there, or the countries where these threats, they are part and parcel of the bigger nation, the, U, the UN and other international organizations, civil conventions to protect not just citizens, to protect uh, government and its uh, officials. So I don't expect them to fold their hands and encourage such things. And they should do the needful and, of course, uh, get the people arrested. And what is more, this kind of uh, conduct, antics will also you know, make it difficult for Nigerians to emigrate. Okay, if we go there and show this kind of only uh, behavior, when you apply for visa, immigrant status, and the rest, these countries will be very scary too. Because if you can protest this manner against your senator and other, you can also protest against even the government of the country where you are. Because there are basic issues that can happen that you may also want to express yourself. But you, you are not cultured in civil, civil, uh, civil dissent and civil, uh, civil protests. But you are more until to violence and uh, anity. Okay. Not con not, uh, okay, thank not you, uh, uh, Professor John. Uh, Bishop Akalami. Now, <coughs> what do you think must have informed this development? Um, <coughs> some persons believe that if things are going on well at home, then those in the diaspora will have no reason to complain about their leaders. You're uh, right, you have a point there. Because um, if you check what is going on, I, I, I believe that um, doing the the, the, the fight yeah. with the Kurima, I think I overheard some uh, young men who were shouting on the, on the ground. You know, the killing, there's killing in Nigeria, you are coming here to eat here. What those kind of local language yeah. we are speaking? So you discover that most of our leaders have failed us. Now, they've, they've, they fail to do what is needful for the citizens. And um, you see them traveling out of the country to enjoy themselves. Mm. I think uh, there was even a picture of uh, some persons here whose children are there schooling. Why they don't pay attention to what is going on here? Some of them go out there to take care of themselves, health wise. Um, the, um, the medical facilities we have mm. in our hospitals, they, they are not just there. The medical infrastructure are not there. And uh, each time they have a dick, they move out of the country. So, a lot of fish, you can imagine what is going on now. It, 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 a lot of things, of phrase, a lot of things are not to just work in the country. And uh, most of them who are outside there, most time you have a uh, program here where they have to call. They, they, at most times they call. They tell you how they, what, how they feel over there, how people see them. You know, they, how they, why people see them because of what is going on in Nigeria. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, we don't, we don't even enjoy that here. No electricity. If you go there, they will tell you that. I let my friend came back and said, ah, Come on, what is this? He said, For the past 10 years I've been there, he said, I have never experienced any power interruption. You get what I'm saying? I traveled to Lagos, my friend came from, my, my friend just came back, and the, 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 the son, when they took life, he was just crying. He said, why is he crying? He said, he said, he said I said, throughout, since the, the, I, the mother gave birth to him, you have never experienced darkness like this. So <laughs> he, was, yes, he was surprised to have seen that the poor just gone. Immediately, they had to go on the jail. So when they on the jail, he said, like, the, the, the baby stopped crying. So that is the level we have been to. So if people were supposed to have made this happening here, you see them traveling out of the country, they go to a place like Dubai, they travel to a place where people, leaders, are put in place very well. You see, there's something I saw on social media. I don't really know. I just look at it. I, saw, well, I, will, I, I was forced to believe it, that even the federal government wrote to the Germany authority. No, we cannot substantiate. No, I want to bring out something from there. Yes. Uh -huh. That they, they have to look for those young boys who who fought our uh, the deputy senator, uh, former senator, uh, deputy senator president. Now, there was a reply that, well, if you have put this in order in your country, your people would have come here. And they came, and we, we are coming with them, make this happen for them. Why can't you make this happen for your people? And you still come here, and now, you see, here in, uh, here in this country, we have to give them freedom to protest anything you want to do, unlike what is happening in, uh, in Nigeria. 
So, so like I said, these are social media comments yes. that cannot be Good. substantiated. Now, it's not just happening here now. I, I, I think I love the trade. I can tell you that I love the trade. That once you are not doing well as a leader, those young men who are there, wait for them. If you don't do well as a leader, you don't deliver the dividend of democracy to your people. Then you go out of this country to go and enjoy the basic amenities provided by other leaders of another country. Wait for them. Because enough is enough. They, they, they behave as if they don't know that nothing is working. Our education system is doing it by the day. Nothing is working because the children are not there. Many go away, look at them. They talk about the country. Nothing is working. You see, I want to see anytime they call for medical tourism, drive them back so that things begin to work in the country. Now, are, I'm happy that they are not afraid to travel. Let them stay back here so that they can develop this country for us. Nigeria is too big for the nonsense we see everywhere. And we are so blessed with so much natural resources that our leaders cannot sit with and what and make use of to better the life of the people in this country. Do you know why? Most of the time I lament because we have some people who are in political offices who don't even have the idea, not temperate, what they want to do when they are coming to power. When you have such leaders, the people suffer. A, a man who is coming to become a governor. A man who wants to become a member of House of Assembly. A man who wants to become a senator. No dream. You're not just coming. You don't have a tech you, you don't have anything. No program. You don't have a premeditated program. What do you want to do for the people? Yeah, the coming? electorate. The electorate can decide. That's see, why they have see, to cast their ballot. You see, you see, I have yes. said this over and over again. I have told people, I said, come. When that young man, uh, sorry, talking about the revolution, uh, I told them, I said, come. The kind of revolution we need in Nigeria is the way I take place in the poll. Do you know what one young man told me? He said, in Nigeria, a revolution can never take place in the poll because they will win the election. No, but that's no, not, that's no, not no, 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 no. See, 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 over the years, uh, my brother, my friend, over the years, you have seen what I've played out in this country, that more people will vote for their choice, will vote for their candidate. At the end of the day, the result will betray the input. You get what I'm saying? You won't be surprised. Ah, in my field, we all voted for this young man. How come that he didn't win the election? That is the, the, the kind of uh, adakabdabra going on in the process. Okay, Mr. No, Akala, so one, one thing. The yes. These are the things that are playing out. Okay. So, the young people who are outside this country, who were forced out of this country, who feel that their future will be granted outside there. When these people are coming there, wait for them. Thank you. Uh, let's get the thought of uh, Barrister Patrick Kisekwene. Now, um, yes, it is the rights of uh, citizens to travel for different reasons. Uh, but a situation where a particular group, especially a proscribed group, now threatens uh, Southeast governors or politicians who travel abroad, uh, don't you think there must be something underneath? Yes, like I, I told you. Yeah. You know, this, this is a, we should tell ourselves the truth. It's a proscribed body. I, you've already proscribed them that they are more or less oh, terrorist group. They're terrorists. Whatever uh, Akeda does now, or any of the Ashada or Ashanti, or, uh, those are terrorist groups. So, it's, uh, what you can do about, about such matters? Because you know, we already prescribed them. But I said, it is, it, we had a cause. Because the, the way your mama it, it was done is what we are experiencing now. Okay, but do you think politicians tra traveling abroad should now seek extra security? No, you know, it, it won't work because uh, you're not the owner of that country. You have their law. <laughs> yes, so it won't work. You have their law. That, your security ends here. If only you take the plane to the airport, you're your own. That is why they're not scared to travel out. Then we get them. <laughs> and they say, well, at least they have been declared better than not to enter all the other countries. And any information you give to them, one million, that I have of any government official from the Eastern part of the country. No, a prescribed group. <laughs> yes, 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 a prescribed group. No, no, that's what I'm telling yes. you now. That's what they're doing now. Yeah. It is because it is the, what we, uh, the, the negative the way we behave here is what we just made around what uh, just happening that way. Because they can't have their law. So they don't have to tell you that you cannot stop these people. And we also are aware from media, we are not there, that they also try getting in touch with the president to come out from, uh, I heard it. From the uh, other, you know, that uh, they try to also reach him. So this is that this is more you cannot hold them to ransom. You see, like I said, you see, you don't want the child to cry. Don't be that child. Made a parable here. It's what we are seeing today. Because this man uh, cannot go more powerful. If what is uh, they are they are, they are highly connected. They are connected. If you see him meeting, if, if the man want to raise the two billion today, we get it. 
because of the people they believe in him to get in touch with Ak Akeda. Is Akeda is the godfather of the terrorists. They, 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 they are the no, father. No, 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 what I'm trying to you say. You need to marry. Um, I don't want to marry. Is a different no, what I'm saying is that the terrorist group. That, Adob is a yes, group. Yes. You know that yeah. people, I don't know how connected they are with other, other groups. That's why they are not scared of them. So, how the man, I, 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 what they did to him, what not joking matter. So, are you not positive that, yes. that Nigerian politicians should remain at home? Yeah, it is there. Let the stop wasting the money. For health, uh, we will shopping, let the money remain in their state. We thank God for that. They are not scared. The, 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 the fear of our problem is not the fear of wisdom. <laughs> they are not scared because they are going to overseas for just uh, their own merriment. We will not stop. So if they want uh, not to be stopped, they should bring good government to their states. Yes. Yes. It's now that I don't know you do it, you do it needful, or else our problem is waiting for you. That is not a lot of problems. So if, if you are to behave well and do something good, and there, there are sufferings everywhere in Nigeria. People are suffering, people are a lot of happening. Even in short, there was I said, what our country is this? In my office almost one week, no light. In my house almost uh, two is no light. I can't go home, I can't stay in the office. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> you become, uh, you know, I'm going to become very volatile. When well, I ask this question, where will I go to? <laughs> Even in my house, no light. Even in the office, other with no light. So, what kind of country is this? <laughs> you don't go to a country whereby in a, in a year, two years, or, or five years, never, you know, don't know what the flower interruption. To enjoy all the goodies there, you should remain and survive it. So, that's the truth of the matter. Thank you, Barry. So, now, one yes. day, I think if now the issue of uh, APOP said they need the want, I told you, I said issue of social social. Eh? Self determination under international law is a right. They're not against it at all. So if the government, what the government should do? Because you can, the way things are going, more keep on keep on unfolding day, day by day. The federal government, that's like why I told you, they should go on structure, structure the, the country so that people will not detain any longer. You can aware now that even the 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 the, the, uh, the West now, uh, uh, their the own region, uh, about the uh, security uh, outfit now, code for the Eastern uh, West, Western region. That's a regionalism in action. They are also they are looking for way to regionalism. It's not that we can let the East be, let the West be, let the South South be. Now we give way. Then we don't see so much to say, no one and they are doing everything there. It will not work. Pop, this is just a certain point. I don't know what they will do tomorrow. We don't even know. Okay, thank you, Barrister Patrick. Uh, Professor Odio, now what's the way forward? Uh, we've not seen this before, where leaders are being threatened. Oh, if you come abroad, certain people will attack you. Well, it wasn't like that. So it's a new development. Now, what do you think should be done to stem this problem? Well, thank you very much. I think, I think the way forward, first of all, is discipline. Okay. Uh, and civility. I always say that in every way we have. We shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't allow us to descend to the level of uh, barbarism. You see, no matter how, how pain, we are all pain in, in our own several ways. The country is not uh, in the right direction. But you don't use that as an excuse to become a civil barbaric and mm. you know? So for persons who are championing violence and attacking the officials, the first thing is why did they leave the country in the first place? They are not here. And there are those who are going through worse straits than they are. If those persons take to violence, take to crime, then you are justifying it. If you that has uh, migrated to a better country out of cowardice, because you need to stay here. If you are strong and without the storm with us, if you have escaped from Nigeria out of cowardice to go and enjoy the good things there, you don't want to make the sacrifice there, then you now say you want to lay siege for people like you also try to who are trying to benefit from what you have there. How about those of us who are left here? It's about discipline. You still see the average woman rolling her cart, selling rice, selling pure water. You see the woman of almost a, a, a wife hawking garden egg on the head. She doesn't want to go to Germany or to France or to Europe. The sacrifice she's making. People are in the farm struggling. People are, the country is bad, we know. But how do we without this stuff? It's by being disciplined and to persevere and to constructively engage governments. Engage officials, starting from your counselors that are close to you. But what do we do? We engage them to buy us drinks and the rest. We play with the counselors. We have counselors. How many of us know them? As far as them, it's from the grassroots. So you don't go and lay siege for a senator in Germany or a, prime minister, a minister in France to show that you are you wish the country best. You are just a hooligan. What do you expect? So the first thing we forward is this, first and foremost, a government must be up and doing, no doubt about that. Because like you said, you create leeway for people to misbehave. But two wrongs don't make it right. Yeah. Government is not up and doing, you don't take it out by being uncivil and then you desecrate our national flag or our national integrity outside the name of protest. That is not good. So 
government must do its own. And again, it's, we've seen worse times. Things will come around. I, some of us experienced the Abiola Saga in 93 and then we thought this country will be won again. Yeah. So what are we talking about? I tell people that we, what we are seeing now may be bad, but it's not the worst in time in this country. With all due respect. Who, who killed off our bread in this country? Who killed off our extra commodities? But what are we talking about? Because we are so indisciplined, like I say, I tell my students that we expect so much, we are so used to largesse that we cannot even afford to bear. People went through civil war in this country, where they were eating grass and eating leaves. They had children, they come progress. So, this country is in dire shape, no doubt, but we can still move forward if citizens are, we are persevere by discipline. And part of this is to ensure that we won't go to select our leaders. Those persons fighting them up there, they are returning this is by his seventh or sixth time in the, in the Senate. Open not voting for him. So, what are we talking about? So, as youths, what do we do to engage government? What do we do to engender uh, the right leaders in our respective places? How do we engage them? In our respective places, what do we do to make a turnaround? In our country, in our family cycle, in our church, in our little, what do we do? So that is the first thing. Then, part of government, government must realize that it is not just business for it. It's not about winning elections, empowering your cabinet, and all that. It's not about compensatory government. No, it's government service delivery. Service delivery. And how do we get that? It's by putting persons who have conscience. Because what I say about some of us leaders don't have this conscience. If you, don't, if you don't have conscience, no matter what you do, the more you anger them, the more you put them in the cocoon. Like the says, very soon they'll be going with escort and yes. And the very soon they will ask them to do some of them will be frustrated. Because the country has bilateral uh, agreements. Mm. So the government must be engaged because persons with them must live up to their conscience. And that is where we bring our religious leaders into, into, the, into yeah. the fray. What effort are they making to conscientize our leaders and our youth? Because when you, when you elect these persons, they, it's a social contract. You must deliver. And delivery is not about just the legal aspect, there's also the moral aspect of it, like I always say. And so if government wants to avoid the kind of scenarios, they must be up and doing it. And not just government at the federal level, state local. So that you feel the impact of governance. But on our part as citizens, because I know that if we are giving up on governance, they are failures. How about us citizens? What we expect is, in our own little ways, to make an impact. And like I said, it's all about patience. We, in another four years, we're talking about another, another, another set of leaders. And if we do not take care of our set, of our discipline, the cycle will repeat itself. We are the ones that will go and get engaged in vote buying. We are the ones that will involve a toggle for leaders. The right persons will not be there. And when they are empowered to be there, we now start acting drama the way we're acting. Okay. So that's not how we go about it. Yeah. It's a holistic approach. Okay. That's my, that's Thank my you, Professor I uh, uh, will just uh, quickly move from. Uh, that issue now to look at the other issue another very disturbing scenario in nigeria we're talking about it uh the state of insecurity in the country uh glad to know that uh, some students uh, allegedly adopted uh, yesterday uh, kaduna abuja way uh, they've been rescued by the police we say kudos to the gallant uh, officers who have done that a lot of problems in terms of security situation and um, what's the way out? Uh, we'll start with Bishop Akalami. How do we come out of this imbroglio in terms of insecurity? Yeah, the issue of insecurity. Today we now have uh, kidnapping everywhere, armed robbery, banditry, name them, SME activities, Boko Haram, all this. But uh, the most common one is the armed robbery, the kidnapping, and the activities of the SME, and that of uh, Boko Haram is, I think, is reducing now. But my, my worry is this, and it's covered that the insecurity that we have to deal with in Nigeria is as a result of the greed of the people. Okay. The quest for material wealth, make it quick, is now in the bloodstream of most Nigerian youths. Oh. They want to make some money, they want to make money quick. Nobody, nobody wants to observe stages of life anymore. Nobody wants to wait. If you are primary six, you want to write Versa. You are a hundred level, two hundred level, you want to write messages, letters, when you have not even finished your school. I remember those who were in school those days, who pray, well, once we finish school, at least we we'll, we'll desire to see we'll get a job, the back or here, we we'll start saving. You know those that used to read? No, but I tell you now, maybe you save money, you rent three, but you flat, you call your colleagues, oh, I've got a job, I have a wife, I'm married. Now you see, you move from one stage to another, I even bought a car, you move. But this youth we have, this call, this, this youth we have now, 
They are not interested in the stages of life. They want to hammer. What, what do you mean by hammer? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, want to, they, want to, they just want to make, they want to, want to make a queer word by force one day. Sudden words. Sudden words. I just, you see, the man is now rich. That's the language. You see, the problem we're having, we are equal, even more, we are even responsible. Even the churches everywhere, we don't preach morals. So when somebody who has not even finished school, we come and say, oh, daddy, I bought this car yesterday. I want, I want to buy a line, I want to do it. Oh, my son has arrived. You take it to your pastor. The pastor will bless the car. We come and open the house, commission the house. We don't say, young man, where do you get your money? Where are you working? Nobody is interested in the source of income of anybody in this country. What we are interested in is he has the money. I can't you see he now rent on the latest car. But that guy, oh, you see the car, the car the duty has? Nobody is interested. So everybody now, because we now worship money, even the church, we don't have money, you disappear for church, your pastor will never look for you. So every year we now start money, 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 money in the country. Material things. So the youth have now decided to oh, there's no need of me to do what's needful. We cannot wait anymore. Let's do what I do now to make money. They will tell you, I, 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 I need something that will do from nothing next weekend to hammer, to make a lot of millions. Okay, now, Bishop Akalemi must also make it very clear uh, that youths who want to make uh, uh, quick, who uh, want to acquire uh, wet, sudden wet, should also be ready to serve the time. Uh, if you are arrested, you will surely uh, yeah, pay for yeah, your yeah. crime. Is uh, for yes, them. let's get Paris. Uh, uh, Patrick uh, Isekwene, yes, what's the way out, this insecurity problem? Yeah, the insecurity problem is, uh, what you have is alarming, and the uh, uh, government to do something about the issue. Uh, the, the, the police, are, I think they've done their best, because I'm, I'm not really blaming the police, because, you see, the, we need to change our mode of policing. Okay. The security officer in this country need to do that all. We need to do that because a situation whereby you you see depends on use of your don't go on long guns, you know it's so hard. See in a civilized world, you see we should let we we coming from an outside world. What is happening these days is uh, intelligent policing. You understand me? What I mean is, thing that we hate you like your answer, uh, city camera that can you can monitor people from where you sit, where, where, where you, you are. It's what they should be doing. Now, not whereby you you put your hundred police in one check point. But what's a problem? Because this guy that involved in this crime, you have you, you have a high class world, who like an advance, who have almost a six, who have almost six billion. He can finance any 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 action with a mere amount. He will get what he wants. That's what I mean. So they, they, they have money to do anything they want to. So it's not the, it's not the, yeah, the police. Not the, the, the police. The use of uh, technology. Yes, the technology. Yes, intelligence report, monitoring. Yeah, yeah. Not by pushing on the policemen. No, that you can monitor social movements. In the civilian world, I think they have they can, they can monitor you from anywhere. All your movement, all your action. Do we know? They, they, they know where to stop you. Not by saying, oh, police won't do everything. No, the police they can they can perform miracle. But there are some uh, this kidnapper that I told you, some like uh, advance, the least money I've collected so far is about 20 million. One of them is 100 million, 150 million, one million dollars. If you convert the money over, over 600, 600 million. So it can finance any project at any particular point. Yeah, but, but it's in jail. Sometimes ah, I know, it. yes. But sometimes you see, uh, you uh, fight to leave a uh, police checking point. You don't even know why they're really policemen. It can be advanced uh, uh, uniform and uh, they can finance anything. It's not what they're advanced. advanced uh, no, put up. I don't know. Let me know what happened. Can you put CCTV everywhere? <laughs> no, 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 so not that, but this point they can go and do. You don't know who is the real police. Uh, I don't know they 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 don't with it. Okay. What happened like with the government pass out of town? But you don't know the model why they able to do that thing. And we are even told that it's the woman that led that squad. Yes. No, that is that. So it's not what are people saying that we? These are allegations. Yes, uh, we can no, no, no. Uh, yes, yes. So we should change our mode. So the police cannot just perform wonder. Except we should change our, our ways of doing it. Okay. Then again, we need to talk to all these boys. I get what my colleague said here. I remember when we were in university, our days, like my lecturer is here, like that. Yeah. You see, we know that we are, what you after is how to pass your exam. Yeah, <laughs> but these days now, on the level, Venza, property, <laughs> you, uh, we don't, you see them driving big cars, nobody cares. They commit all sorts of crimes. Yeah, a kidnapper, a murderer, a ritualist, they are Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they call, you see. We are, we are in, in party, if I tell you what we see, you'll be mad then. 
<laughs> with the mother. So <laughs> this day now you now uh, you you above uh, seven, twenty years. Something you like to use the parents for rituals. This is when I use the parents for rituals. They told that what 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 is that? I could I could. He can do it with the girlfriend anytime. So no, this is happening because the crazy for wet is saltiness. So we should we should be discouraged. We should be discouraged because uh, you shouldn't be a role model. We should look at some person like professor, some professor, some person in high play that oh I want to be like this man. Not just the money today. We need to have discipline. We need to cultural values. Not on just a face of materialism. That's where we find ourselves. We continue like this. I don't know the fate of Nigeria tomorrow. Because of the way things are going, they're not ready this voice. They are crazy for works. <laughs> so it must be stopped. It must be stopped. Professor of it must be stopped. Now, uh, Patrice uh, Sekwene has just made a point. Yes. Yes. Um, he's talk, he's, he has uh, spoken about the issue of cultural values. Yes, yes. We understand years back, you can leave a penny yes. and you will meet it there. Yes. But now, things have changed. But we've seen some Nigerians. Yes, Even at the airport. Yeah, they still return. Yes, things. they return money, uh, yes, missing money. Yes, and where's, yeah. Missing items. Yeah, goods, yes. yes, there are still some very good citizens. Yes. And they'll be commended as well. So, what's the way out of this insecurity? Thank you very much. Uh, let me just keep to what you said, which is yeah. the issue of our cultural our moral values. It still knows dive to the issue of discipline, like I said. Okay. You see, discipline in all spheres. Now, let us just examine from a panoramic point of view. We are all very aware about the captain who uh, was uh, pivotal to the killing of uh, those three uh, policemen that went to uh, arrest uh, that. Uh, okay, the case in Taraba. Uh, Taraba. Good. If you are disciplined within that uh, uh, service, the army, you won't have a captain who is a kidnapper in quotes. No, it has not been established. I, 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 I the investigation is still on. I in quotes. Okay. Uh, the is on, but of course, you have feelers. Of course, you know. Now, if. It is true that as alleged that he was the mastermind behind the killing of fellows, you know, policemen to rescue a kidnapper. It means that even as a captain, he's not dreaming of becoming a general. He's not, he's not going to become a general. The captain is the first rank or second rank you get when you leave the NDA. He's not going to become a general. He wants to be a billionaire. So he can as well retire as, as a captain and he owns the whole world. Now, you transfer to all sector. In the, in, the, in the military, even in the question where I, be, where, I, where, I, where, I, where I am, some person will not want to lead to become a professor or the, the already as a, as a great assistant or senator, he's already how to make money, he's already pivoting names about it by admission and all that. He's, he's, he's okay with that. It's cascades downwards. Now, even in government, too, you have ministers who are not willing to serve, who are there because they are concerned about the money they make. So if you have a minister for defense, for example, or an IG who does not believe in defense or in policing. It's more, it's concerned about the money. A lot of money is voted for our security in this country. Let's start with our governors, what do you expect? Our governors, we know that at least a governor goes home every month. It's about 200 million, 300 million, depending on the state. What do they do with it? If if a state if a state government has Are you to, talking about security vote? Yes, security vote, yes, security vote. Yeah, but we don't know about their security vote. No, we don't know the figure. No, <laughs> the figure is there. The figure is there. It's, it's, <laughs> let me tell you something. Yeah. Before I just use that as, as, as a smoke screen. The figure is known. It's not accountable. You can't account for it. You can investigate it. You know, yes, you can look my mind. But no, the figure is known. It's in the budget. It's there. No matter how it's hidden, it's there. And if you care to find it, it's there. So they will not, they will not tell you officially. But the only thing about security is that it is not accounted for. You don't, you don't have to audit it. Doesn't mean that there's not a figure, it's only come from the sky now. Who have idea? Look, let's let's go beyond that. Okay. The money is humongous. At least we know that. Now that money is it actually spent on security. So you don't wait for the Minister of Defense, you don't wait for the IG or the Chief of Army staff to do your bit. The governors, the local government chairman, the local government chairman, he has security vote. Let's forget about the figure. If we are scared of saying that. But what does he do with it? How does he engage the local hunter, the vigilante? How many are they empowered? What are the security measures? Like? Talk about CCTV. Can you not put it in the, in the, in the at least just in that is a local government uh, headquarters? Let us have it there, for example, to check petty thief, free fraud, and then we they won't do it. We won't do it. Then move to the higher level, the state government. Why can't we have CCTV in our, in our King Square and the major areas? Mm. Why can't we do that? It's the same. The same expense of putting your street lights. It's just a little more you put CCTV to. So that's Someone cannot work fully in Ringo as we speak now. We have our power, power, power. These are major, these are hard barriers. You can walk the kidnap at uh, Bubai, Bubai Hill. Open place. Mm. How should that happen? If you ask them to replay that incident now, people are saying it's a woman, it's not a boy, it's a woman. Why, why, are, we, why are we speculating? In other time, you already have the CCTV footage. You know it's a man or not, what it looks like. But then I zoom them, but then I narrow it on them. We cannot. Because 
we are mainly reactive and not proactive. So it's investment. And investment in security is about discipline, like I said. It is more than not sign funds. We don't want to start mentioning them. Ask the chief of army staff how much he spends on, 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 his, on, his, on, his, on his soldiers for discipline, for security. As the IG, monies are voted every now and then. Defense takes the chunk. That's why education and health is at the, at, at the background. Education and health gets nothing. We're not discussing that today. But we know that in this country, what is spent on defense and security is humongous. So where does it go to? It's about discipline. So if our security forces are disciplined, they do their job, the policeman will be more concerned about covert operation, gathering information. You can nip the body. You, know, you don't need to go and arrest a young man because he's driving events at first. You will know when he's starting his, his, uh, his uh, Yahoo business or starting his business. Even as when he starts, starts a tutelage, you will pick them. You don't have to wait for a man to carry a human skull in his car. You will have known before he killed that person to get him arrested before he kills. Because when he kills, you get him arrested with a human skull. Life is already gone. It's, you know, nobody can compensate the family of that person. So how ah, are they doing all this? Nothing. Then let's go to the issue of kidnapping. The kidnapping ring has been on for quite a while. Now, how many kidnap uh, rings have been busted before they carry out their act? The type of people have been kidnapped say we rescue. It's not about rescue. I saw a profile about people who have been rescued. I said, yes, you rescued them, but how many did you preempt? Maybe they don't sell us. Maybe we shouldn't know about that. But I think that if you are able to preempt more of kidnapping, if they see they cannot get people to kidnap, they will have a means of access to the weapons, the weaponry. Those things are very expensive. And AK-47 is almost half a million for one. We had three policemen we are, we are, I'm told have been dismissed from the Nigeria police force because they were very careless with their, with, their, with their weapon. One took it to the hotel. This is no longer a rumor. Uh, it was like, yes, it's the public domain. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Took it to the hotel to go and be having a, uh, to, to hang out with the lady. Who knows why the lady took it to the gun? The policeman with gun in the hotel room. Okay. That doesn't make sense to anybody. So if you are so lousy as security officers, then the blame should come to them. Then I want you to, like you already said, we should try to admonish them. And especially from the church, from parents, to the church, try the church, the religious bodies have a very huge task ahead of them because the moral values have decayed. And some say these are end times. Probably the sound of end times. I don't know about mm -hmm. that anyway, but I'm not. Thank but, you. But, but these are things that we have a lot of work to do. Okay, Professor Odio, thank, thank you very thank you much. You really elaborated. Uh, but just um, your parting words, uh, Bishop Akaleme, parting words. I think uh, Nigeria, we should know that um, the, the way to go is to yes. learn how to create values. It's not all about money. When you create value, you make money will come at the end of the day. When money comes, you don't think of how to go and rob somebody, how to go into kidnapping, how to do all this crime, to do Yahoo to make money. It's value creating. When you create value, you make money. We should all go for self-discovery. So most times, that's why for some time now, I stopped blaming the government for unemployment. Because yeah. government cannot give all of us work. That's true. The best way to go is self-discovery. Yeah. Once you are in secondary school, yeah, that is why once I test once you are in secondary school, that is the first, that is a place for you to discover who you are. If you are a comedian, build yourself. When you leave that place, become a good comedian. If you are a footballer, begin to build yourself. If you are a public speaker, begin to develop yourself. While you are in secondary school, so when you time you come out, there you now have something to create value. Yeah. Once you add that value, people will be ready to pay for your value and you make money, you'll be happy. So that all this is security, this is talking about CCTV camera. It will not work in Nigeria. If you look at all these uh, traffic lights we have, they will put it there. In the next one week, they are gone. No maintenance culture. If you push this camera for anywhere, it, just, it will only last for one week in Nigeria. It will not work again. <laughs> it will be malfunctioning. Nobody is there to maintain it. So I think everybody has to sit down and start working. We work. Start, let, us, let us start from the church. Church. Let's talk to That's where people are modeled, morally. Let's start from there. They're in the school. They pay the to do their thing. When your child brings out a Bible, you know he has one, you know he brought, he came back from school and he came back with five. He will not take the five to the school. He said, come on, I see my child, he came out, came home with a pen. I don't know where he got it from. You will see it there, you will just do as if you have not seen anything. So when that child become a governor, he will be stealing our money. Thank because you, Bishop. Thank you, Bishop. Okay, okay, your party was uh, by the party. Uh, yes, uh, I will want to also government uh, uh, look at the issue uh, holistically, okay. the issue of the iPod. Yeah. That uh, in, a, in, a, in, in a civilized world, even the world we live today, the world is a global village. Life is dynamic. Okay. Only thing that is constant in life is change. Yeah. So that's why you see today British. I thought about Brexit. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting for it. That's what I mean. So I'm not to say that if they want to, government should give them a. The end is uh, so what they need, like organizing uh, plebiscite, the uh, uh, referendum. It should not be action there. They want to let them leave. It's, it's a right. We are once in 19 state, but not 19 state. I'm going to start dictating. So government should uh, work out things. Oh, look for alternative. That will make them stop clamoring. Issue of structure, the structure, like that. 
Then the uh, government will also look at the issue of the, uh, the masses. I think if you have a delivery government, the masses will not bother again because things are okay. But it's a situation where you have a compensatory uh, cabinet to say to your party member, those who help you, you are not, you don't, not talking, talking about delivery. It's wrong. Government should rethink and overhaul itself because the last cabinet you have is the former people, no difference. It's the same, same people. So thank government should take things thank serious. You, thank you. you can, have a good governance, good delivery. It will reduce most of these things that we're talking thank about. Thank you very much. Professor John, thank you very okay, much. Thank you very much. Bishop Akalame, thank, thank you. And of course, uh, Barrister Patrick. I say, Kone, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this week's edition of the program. We've looked at the uh, latest uh, developments, a uh, very negative development of uh, threats by prescribed IPOP on politicians. And we've also looked at the state of insecurity, and my guests have actually evolved ideas that can, that can help uh, the authorities to actually curb crime. On that note, I say thanks for being a part of today's edition. Keep a date with me. By God's grace, next week, I'll be here. Bye-bye.